have to be here tonight. The scripture said in Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27 says, hallelujah, and it's appointed unto man, uh, God, once to die and after death uh, is the judgment. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands and worship the Lord? Heavenly Father, as we can stand upon this spot, we pray that your words may go forth forcefully. Now, tear on every struggle right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Heal and deliver right now. Set captive free. Uh, uh, God, give vision and sight to the blind. Uh, uh, work a miracle right now in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh uh, God. Brothers and sisters, we are living in a time uh, that we could say that it's a perplexing season. Uh, God, but the more we are seeing, beloved, the things that are happening in the world, uh, we realize is that the further man is running away from God. Yeah. Uh, the Bible said, beloved, that in this season, uh, that man loved darkness rather than light. Uh, but come to tell this wonderful Papa God people uh, in this community that light has come uh, in your community. Yeah. And that light is Jesus Christ uh, and him crucified. Uh, the Bible tells us, beloved, that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Oh God, that simply means, beloved, that whatever you sow in sin, you're going to reap death. The Bible tells me, beloved, that sin is just for a season. Oh God, we live in a time in our world where we see people want to glamorize sin. People want to make sin look attractive. People want to big up sin. But I come to tell you what the Bible said in Luke chapter 13 verse 3 and verse 5 except he repent you shall all likewise perish. I come to tell the taxi man. I come to tell the shopkeeper. I come to tell the mason. I come to tell the farmer that you need to repent sin. You need to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you need to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. When we look in this country, we realize, beloved, that the heart of man is become desperately wicked. And every imagination and every thought is to do wicked continuously. But I come to tell somebody that the Bible give us this warning. It's appointed unto man, oh God, once to die. And after death come the judgment. And I always preach, beloved, to tell folks, beloved, that when death knock at your door, hallelujah, you've got to go. When death knock at your door, you can't tell death, hallelujah, that you are 16, you are 17, you are 18, you are 30, you are 16, you are 17. When they knock at your door, you got to go. Then there's a business, beloved. If we just buy the latest bench, when they knock at your door, hallelujah, you got to go. Then there's a business, beloved. If you just get a farmer ticket, if you just build your shop, when they knock at your door, you got to go. And that's why I come to tell somebody that you need to repent that your sin. I heard the Bible says, we all I stand at the door and knock on God Almighty. If any man hear my voice and open up the door, I will come and shop with him. I come to tell somebody in this district that Jesus is still knocking. Jesus is still calling. Jesus is still shouting. Jesus is still begging that you need a friend oh God almighty before you get in trouble I come to tell somebody make haste and repent I come to tell somebody come and seek him now for I can tell you that this salvation is sweeter than everything 
our God that he ever get before. Let somebody tell me that this God, our God is a God of love. Let somebody say, come taste and see that the Lord, our God, hallelujah, is God. But you got to do it the apostle way. You got to repent and you got to be baptized. I got to tell somebody what the scripture said. The Bible tell me here, oh Israel, that the Lord of God is one God. We don't serve a board of God. We don't serve a committee of God. We don't serve a group of God. The God that we serve is God all by. Hallelujah. Himself. I got to tell somebody that they got to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. I heard Paul said, Hallelujah, Peter said, Hallelujah, in Acts, August chapter 2, Hallelujah, he beckoned to them. He said, You got to repent and be baptized. Every one of you, in other words, beloved, hallelujah, it's salvation for the taxi, it's salvation for the farmer, it's salvation for the woman, it's salvation for everybody. Right. Hallelujah, right. we come to tell somebody that Jesus is the cure, I come to tell somebody that Jesus is the answer, I come to tell somebody that Jesus is the remedy. Whatever you're tired of with, Jesus can lose you. Whatever you're locked up with, Jesus can bust it. Whatever you are going through, Jesus can fix it. I heard somebody say that in the name of Jesus, every day shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Oh God. Let me say to somebody, oh God, if you don't bow now, you're going to bow later. And let me tell you, later is not going to be greater if you don't have the Holy Ghost. I heard somebody say, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. I heard Paul said, because I know the terror of God. I'm trying to persuade men, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, if you die before, without God, you're not going to paradise. Let me take it over. I come to warn somebody, then if you die without God, you could have put R.I.P. a little more. There's no rest in peace. We heard somebody said, we're the tree falling. Here shall it lie. I come to tell somebody. I don't care what the preacher said over you. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, your body's worm food. Amen. I want to talk to I come to warn somebody. If you die before without God, if you die without Christ, you are worm food. I don't care you pick up yourself. I don't care you look dainty. That's a worm fool. But I heard somebody say, you better get right with God. Come and do it now. I heard somebody say, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. What is important is your soul right with God. Time. We're poor folks. Don't believe that when you die without God, you're going to hell. I was at a funeral the other day at Medaris, and there was so much hallelujah hearses there. Oh, I got bodies for the young and the old. And it's not like when I grew up that when people die, people mourn. Oh God, everybody was like a celebration. And I was wondering to myself, do they believe that their loved one that died without Christ, that is in a place of peace? The devil is a liar. I come to tell you that he's in a place of torment. Is the rich man said, 
I am tormented in this space. Because the fire is not quenched. I got to warn somebody here. I got to read it in her. I got Genesis and Exodus. The Bible tell me that when God destroyed men, the Bible said their hearts was wicked and their imagination was wicked. And the Bible said he repented God that he had made men. And the Bible said he sent a flood to destroy men. And the Bible said that Noah built an ark and two by two they went in the ark all the animals but only man refused from listening to God might be you are here I come to warn you you better listen to the voice of God because the church is here to declare the word of God we could be at our house in our homes singing our bones but we take the time out to be in the rain to just to tell somebody you need to repent in the name of Jesus the Bible said after God destroyed men that there was a rainbow in the sky you know what the rainbow means the rainbow simply means the Bible says it's a covenant between God and the earth. What God was saying, I'm not going to use water next time, oh God Almighty. But next time I come to church, it's going to be brimstone and fire. Hallelujah. I'm not going to use water next time, but brimstone and fire. Praise the Lord. Let me ask you the question. When somebody dies, where do you think they go? Where do you think they go? When you go to a funeral of your friend without God, where do you think they go? Brothers and sister, ladies and gentlemen, I come to tell somebody that if they die without God, you're not going to be a plane in a place of peace. That's why Paul wants the wages of sin is death. We live in our agriculture community and we know the law of agriculture. It is impossible to plant peace and we come. Yes, oh it is impossible to plant peace and we come. No, it never work. Oh God, it's the law of agriculture. Whatever you plant, whatever you sow, that shall your oh God Almighty. That shall your also reap. So if you plant to the flesh, you shall reap corruption. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you continue to live in sin, Hallelujah. you're going to read corruption. Okay. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says the eyes of men are never satisfied. Never oh God. Never. Let me tell you, beloved, there's nothing in this world can satisfy you. We can satisfy you. The grammar can satisfy you. The red bull can satisfy you. The ID king and the red stripe can satisfy you. But only the blood of Jesus Christ can satisfy you. Oh God Almighty. Material stuff can satisfy man. I'd like to tell unsaying even the young men Solomon said all is vanity and vexation of spirit praise the Lord let me tell you young men young ladies let me tell you old men you will never reach where Solomon reached with all the wealth that he had he said all is vanity and vexation of spirit 
Yes, yes. Next station of school. Yes, yes. If you buy a 2020 car and you believe that you are the biggest in the community, two more, two years after, that car coming like nothing. Amen. God Almighty. And you're looking to exchange that car for something new. All is valuable at vexation of spirit. Eyes of men are never satisfied. It's the Bible says Solomon, hallelujah, had 700 wives. 300 wives. 300 wives. And 700 concubines. Like to tell young men that. Hallelujah. Because everybody have brag. How many women they have. Yes, oh, Jesus. You can never have more women than ladies like Solomon. Oh, God. Solomon could have changed a woman every day for at least three years. Oh, yes, God yes. Almighty. That is woman every day, Solomon. I look for the next prince. I look at the next pretty girl. And when he see all of that, he said all is vanity. Of spirit. Yeah. Of spirit. In other words, nothing could satisfy him. Only the blood of Jesus Christ yeah. can satisfy him. Uh, I'm warning somebody, beloved, this tonight uh, that is important for you uh, to get right with God. Uh, sin does look good, uh, but when it's finished with you, uh, it's going to be for them. There are a lot of people in the hospital because of sin. There are a lot of people in the prison now is because of sin. Let me tell you, beloved ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that what Jamaica is facing is not a crime problem. Oh God. Jamaica is not facing a crime problem. Oh God. What Jamaica is facing is a sin problem. Oh God Almighty. So what the government try will never work. Only a divine intervention. Divine intervention. Beloved, I can't put it up no more. But all I can tell you. Jesus said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Jesus is still knocking at somebody door. Oh God, I pray that you listen to the voice of God before it too late. When God is calling, you better take heed. For the Bible said, oh God, my spirit is not always is going to strive with men. Oh God, young men, young ladies, put on the X60, put on the gun, the Glock, and the Martin. That is not the answer. What is it? The answer is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the answer. What is the answer? Jesus are they crucified. Oh God, not even water is the answer. Jesus is the answer. You need to seek a friend. You need to run to him. But what we are seeing, beloved, as I get ready. What we are seeing is that man's heart has become hard. Hard. The more we preach like this, is the more men hard become hard. Yeah. Oh God. The more we preach like this, is the more men looking on us. I tell you, could I preach till God come? I still not gonna surrender. But I come to tell you one day you're gonna stand before God. And I heard Paul say that there will be no excuse. I preached a message the other day. And when you stand before God, God now give no blind. No blind. Oh God Almighty. Oh, God. Somebody say no blind, no blind, no blind. No blind. If you die without God, God is not gonna give you no blind. I don't care what to tell him. There will be no blind. No blind. Jesus. No blind. No blind. Die easy. Was trying to get a blind. Calling to Abraham. 
for here passing there's a ghost my God Almighty six oh God even if I wanted to help you there's a ghost that speaks you can't get over it you can't get under it you can't get around it there's no blind no blind no blind give it when you stand before God many of us will live right beside a church and we hear the gospel message preach over and over yeah. but we refuse to repent let me tell you beloved one day that breath in your body you're gonna give it up oh god when you give up that breath the bible tell me is the judgment let me tell you ladies and gentlemen it's not death that you need to fear it's when you stand before God. In other words, every single one of us that are standing here, every single one of us is going to die one day. Oh, God Almighty. Let me say it again. You never know. Let me say it again. Every single one of us that is standing here is going to die one day. One day, somebody's going to put you in a casket. One day, somebody gonna put you in a hole. Oh God! But the songwriter said, "I don't care how I die, where I die, as long as I die in Jesus. In Jesus' name. Yes, in Jesus' name. As long as I'm covered under the blood." I don't care how I leave this world as long as my soul is right with God. The most precious, precious place on earth that have the most valuable things is not NCB Bank, it's not Scotia Bank, it's not Nova Scotia, it's not Victoria Mutual Bank. Not Jane. No, no, no. It's a natural bank in the United States. No. Oh, God Almighty. But it's the cemetery. Oh, Where precious soul die without oh, God. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The cemetery is the most precious thing. Man dying without God. In the name of Jesus. Ladies dying without God. We live in a time when I was growing up, we could point at men that are in their 60s and their 70s and their 80s and say, they are be, going to be the next one to go. Oh God, oh God Almighty. But we realize that things change. Yes, sir. Oh God Almighty. It's the young stars that are dying and the elders are still looking, oh God. 15 year old, 16 year old, 17 year old, 20s, oh God. In the authorities, young men losing their life, dying without God. Hallelujah. But the songwriter asked the question, where would you be? A million years from now. Years from now. The next 50 years, if you got strength, where would you be? If you're in your 60s and your 70s, the next point, the next 50 years, where would you be? Praise the Lord Jesus. Maybe you're in your 20s and your 30s. Are you gonna you believe? That you're gonna live to see 60. Is that a guarantee? No. That you're gonna live to that. Life is that guarantee to no man. There was a song, that old time song that we used to sing. Tomorrow, I give my life. Don't the old song of tomorrow? Yes. But the sunrise, but what about today? 
Because tomorrow what? Tomorrow might be too late. If you are here and you heard the word of God, right even where you stand, you can surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Mighty. With salvation. She said, sir, do you remember me? Yeah. And I said, because honestly, she looks so different. Yes, sir. Oh, God, she looks so refined and beautiful. Oh, God Almighty. Dressing different. Oh, God Almighty. Yeah. I said, please remind me. She said, I was a young lady. Oh, God, in Waterhouse that you preach. Oh, God, and you tell me to just, oh, God, trust Jesus. She said, you see that young man that is about to get baptized. Oh, God, that is my boyfriend. She said, when you get baptized, when you come back home, Lord God, I be a quarrel, I be a cussing, but something happened. All that the men in the community, he was mixed up in war, and they decided that they want to kill him, and they move after him, and he escaped. Lord God Almighty, he and our God end up in the hospital. Yes, yes, sir. And in the hospital, yes, the God, God spoke to him. Yes. Jesus Christ uh, to give his life over to God uh, and he said I want uh, to baptize uh, in Jesus name uh, he said to uh, his girlfriend uh, what you have uh, is what I want that young man when he was in the water for about 20 minutes after they baptized him uh, this awkward gangster uh, for about 20 minutes uh, just lifted up his hand uh, and worshiping the Lord uh, and with choice uh, I come to tell somebody uh, that Jesus uh, is the remedy remember preaching in Golden Spring for Pastor Smith. And I was preaching on the topic of so close. I'm going to close. That every decision that you make, there's consequences. Yes. I was preaching it. Every decision you make, there's consequences. And there were some young men there. We were inviting them. And Lord, and some came and I'm going to stand around, but they did not surrender. We came out on the spot, God Almighty, the following Sunday. And some people from the community, oh God, to insisted, oh God, a young lady, a couple of ladies, draw me aside before I start preach. And she said, you remember last week Sunday you're preaching. I said, every decision, there's consequences. Oh God, she said that one of the young men that was standing by, oh God, was in studio. And they attacked him and killed him. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord Jesus. The same day. He did not surrender his life uh, over to God. But death was just around the corner. Oh God. Oh, the mighty when I was preaching, God was saying something to him. But he shook it off. But when death came to him, he could not shook it off. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, as I close right now, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. what is important? Is your soul right with God? The weed is not the answer. The cutlass is not the answer. The gun is not the answer. The parting is not the answer. What is it? The answer is the blood of Jesus Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Saints, can we just lift our hands and worship the Lord? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, the word of the Lord has gone forth. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's worship the Lord Jesus. Amen, all friends, in your homes. Hallelujah, standing at the side.